I have never tried this setting before with portrait. This is scavenger mode. And the big gimmick here is that you can only use items that you find lying around. Enemies drop nothing. No items, no weapons, no sub-weapons. So to try and make this, you know, a little realistic, I've included all eight portraits in the shuffle. The upside there is more checks to do. The downside is this seed could take way longer. We're gonna have to sit. And I do not start with change cube. So it's Jonathan only for now. So far, not too much to talk about. In scavenger mode, there's even less of a reason to fight enemies. What do we got here? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Instant double jump? Is this even the DS Vania randomize? This is not the one I know. I'm pretty pleased. I was really expecting like an owl seat or something equally slow. If you don't know, in this game, the dive kick is just fundamentally bad. It's almost as bad as the dive kick in Symphony. So if you're gonna dive kick on enemies, if you have to, ooh, nice. What you wanna do is make sure you dive kick straight down. That hitbox is a little bit better. But check it out. Forgot to show this off. This is the better movement patch. So we can backflip and do some other cool stuff later. Wait, Sanctuary? Oh, hang on. This might be a scavenger zipsid. That is a part of Goma. So once I find speed up, I can stop doing spell checks. I might want something holy as well. <sighs> oh, it almost was an owl seed. Phew! This is gonna take a while. But that's fine with me. Uh, I guess I go con boost here. Remember, don't hoard. You know it's the first boss, but this is gonna save a lot of time using the tonic here. In fact, I'm so happy with this start. I think there's a save soon. I'm gonna save when I can. Okay, first portrait.
Yeah, you can definitely complete the portrait rando without upgraded vampire killer. It's tough though. The game absolutely expects you to have that. So both Brawner and especially Dracula require something wholly related. Again, not 100% required, but it's a soft requirement. It's just so much slower without something holy. Even something like Spirit of Light is a top tier for that reason. Hopefully scavenger mode is kind with the weapons. Currently, I have zero weapons to work with. Warp here. Let me save and grab the warp. Stellar Sword is excellent. Stellar Sword is actually my favorite weapon in Portrait. It's holy. It's a harmony callback, so of course I like it. But it's got a great special and it's very, very quick. So on paper, it's weaker than like Claymore. We can actually be more DPS. Yo, Chewie, thank you so much for the 15 months of Prime. Hope you're doing well today. I haven't gotten that much mileage at a portrait dive kick in ages. That's a good dive kick room. You can see why I say the dive kick in this game is slightly better than in Soden. Not by a lot, just slightly. Alright, a little something. This is not gonna be end the game viable, but it's good for now. Push cube, excellent. Oh, for a second I thought this was the Claymore. I love great swords in portrait. They're very fun to use. They feel good. If you can get your auto cancels down correctly. Or uh, backdash cancels, rather. Really speeds them up. A claim is not in the game, but Holy Claymore is the claim equivalent here. And there is Tome of Arms X, which is basically claim for Charlotte. Another cube. Reminder, there are eight portraits here. Okay. Oh, that's it! Oh my god, let me get up there. Well, we are good to go. I thought scavenger mode was supposed to be tough. <laughs> how do you get Holy Claymore? You want to go right up on this ledge. Pick it up, that's how you get it. An insane start. Sorceress Crest, why not? Why not? It's not a Charlotte seed. But yeah, keep the top tiers coming, thanks.
You've never seen this game before. The animation on Jonathan is beautiful. Yeah, this game still holds up fantastically. All the Castlevanias do visually. However, a lot of people make fun of this. I like it. But it does kind of look like Jonathan is throwing a temper tantrum. He's a little upset. Holy Lightning, good. That's one of the better combos, I think. You're a bit late. Uh, the luck's already been insane. Let's try this first. I feel like if you want to learn European food stuff and how to pronounce them and what they're called, this is a great game for that. There are so many food items I cannot even begin to pronounce from France and Germany. Hopeless America. Look at all these portraits, man! Not just portraits, um, I think that's our second uh, tier 2 portrait. I can pronounce baguette. That one uh, I got in the bag. That was perfect pronunciation. I will head into Clown World in a moment. You know, maybe I go forest first. There's a warp down here, so it's convenient either way. Put those on for bosses. Okay, yeah, let's go forest. Well, it's Clown World in a sense. Gotta hate this song. That's a great question. What's the worst song? Clown World or Soul 3D? Please select your choice for worst song by posting either Soul 3D or a clown emoji. Your choice. That's how we're gonna handle this fall. Damn, Soten getting kind of blown out here. I'm gonna skip these checks at the bottom, it's kind of a risk, but I've already got Sanctuary, who cares? They 
a bit too slow for me. Now, by the way, normally I could go to the shop and buy darts. For those wondering why I'm not doing that, I always ban viable darts. When I do portrait randos, they're just too broken. Any kind of sub weapon from the shop is banned. If I happen to find darts or shurikens lying around, that's different. That's something, at least. I think I'll stick with the dragon. Hello Barkeep, and hello Perpetual, welcome. This game is so great. This is an easy pick up and play kind of game. I always talk about keeping Castlevania complicated. This is a contender for most complicated Castlevania. Also, listen to that alliteration. What a sentence. But yeah, just so many ways to play this. Two characters, a million equipment pieces. There's a lot of ways to play Portrait. Okay, it's creature time. No creature skip here. Should be reasonable with double jump. Okay, let's go ahead and go offensive form here. HP is not great. I want to try and hold on to healing. Oh dear, where's that melon? All right. I'm getting spammed on here. Double creature in portrait is like a circle moment. 
Yeah, I can see that. That room in Nest of Evil does feel like something in the uh, Circle Battle Arena. But that room is way, way better designed than the Minotaur room. Minotaur room is a candidate for, uh, for worst Castlevania room period. Alright, Clown Time. So the cool stage had the bad song, now Clown World is gonna have Simon's theme. <gasps> not rigged! Not rigged, but for music, not rigged. What a call. I've never seen this seat in my life. God, that's such good defense on the platinum plate. Well, even if I get the change cube, this is definitely gonna be a Jonathan seed. I think I won't fight Grand Floon yet. No real need. I'll grab a warp nearby. My favorite boss in Portrait, there are so many good ones in this game. Uh, I definitely like the final boss. Brawner is probably number one. Portrait's got some great fights. Let's go Brawner. Painting of the soul, etc. And funny enough, Brawner is less cheesable in Portrait than his Harmony of Despair version, for whatever reason. This is the definitive Brawner. Yakko! I know I said it's not a Charlotte seed, but Holy Veil is too good. Look at that ends. Alright, so I think here is where I um, peace out. Okay, so I've got Push Cube, and it's upgraded. I've got Flight. I've got a lot of things I can do. Let's go this way first. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do Pyramid. Might as well. That's uh, pretty close. I was gonna hold off, but my defense is so outrageous. If I die, it's a skill issue. Speaking of great music, anyone else feel this song right here is a little bit underrated? I think it deserves to be talked about as maybe the best intro thing. It might be number one. Yakko! Get him, kitty! Oh my god, that's good damage.
you cannot ride the cat. Nice jukes there. I'm gonna get them on the way out. This is a dead end over here, but it's got some checks. You gotta do it. Ooh, another spell. It's a bad one. However, this will finally be a speed up right here. I know it has been too long since I've done Portrait, and I agree with you, it's refreshing to hear this incredible OST again. That's kind of what I've been aiming for, you know? I want to learn a lot of games so that long term we get some good Castlevania Metroidvania variety. And it's like playing this game for the first time again. Well, if you could backdash cancel, etc. the first time you play. It's a good feeling. Okay, this one speed up. That's the opposite of speed up. The precise and exact opposite. Nothing up here. Hopefully not a portrait. This is the most awkward portrait location. Ooh, shaman ring, I'll keep that. Scavenger mode really has been friendly. I'm getting close to a complete top tier kit, courtesy of scavenger mode. Who needs drops? I'll definitely try this again for other Castlevanias too. I can imagine this being especially tricky for Dawn. Scavenger Max, maybe someday. Can you save Brawner in this game? No, just the sisters. Can you imagine though? Playable Brawner? I want Brawner mode. Speaking of Don Rando, thank you, Wotes, for the Don Rando request. Let me know what settings you'd like. 
I have a feeling I know what's coming. Hot dog. Hot dog. I kinda want the Sempe. Ooh, that poison was rough. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Alright. Pause, suspend. It's got a built-in anti-poison. Richter Axe is very nice. Yo, Dirksu! Oh my god. 27 months, a subscriber OG, thank you so much for supporting the stream for over two years. Means a ton. Also nice uh, death sight. Definitely a fan of how that uh, sub badge looks. Had to heal there just to be safe. The only other person I've seen with that death sight is me, the streamer. That is straight up more menacing looking than the mod sword. Alright, for good luck, for good luck. Here we go, before mummy. Yeah, you gotta keep this thing equipped to get the boost. Oh, come on. My timings are all off on this fight. Alright, I'm warmed up. Here we go, for real. I, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Here we go, for real. So I was very much hoping to find something else here. No luck. Looks like the next portrait's in the castle.
Where is that portrait? Did you know you can cancel a heavy attack with a combo attack? Nice, small optimization. So yeah, for those who are joining kind of midway through, scavenger mode is no drops of any kind from enemies. Another Q. Oh, Gryphon Wing, let's go. So you can only rely on things that are lying around, but this seed has been incredibly generous. I am going to scavenge my way to victory. Let's get this Claymore. The Shaman Ring I've got equipped. Yada yada, the Platinum Mail. I found all this stuff lying around. Not even money drops. So yeah, the shop is a little bit worse, but you know, you can sell what you pick up. Now, does this work? Not with Charlotte, I don't think. Hey, what's up, Lavama? Yeah, Lavama's the one who requested this. It's been a treat. Good request, IMO. Like, how do you pronounce this? Something de chats. That's gotta be French. Gotta get these goodies here. It's a pretty good haul. I think that was Summon Frog.
Alrighty. Do I remember the minute? That's a good pattern. Easy. Man, where are all the portraits at? Is it back to Clown World already? I mean, I'd rather not. There is still ample time for this seed to get bad. Don't say I didn't warn you. Pop the save point. Got a whopping one check over here. Let's do it. Technically two if I fight um, Stella, but I don't have the cog yet. Here it is. Oh, there's the cog. Uh, do I go right back? Not yet. Not yet. Almost. Sandals are very good. That's Jonathan's best int boosting footwear. Still waiting for some good int related stuff, though. Where are darts? This might be a darts less seed, unfortunately. Here I want to axe, for sure. Oh, we're getting some combos going. Oh, so is she! Oh my god. What a duel. Tricky trick. I kind of want to go back to Glitchless. What I would always do here 
is do the opposite color coordination. So like Jonathan's on the bottom, Charlotte's on the top. People always got very upset about that. I thought it was hilarious. It's a noodle bun. Hmm. It has been a long while since I found a new portrait. I think it's gotta be Clown World. There's a little bit more to do here. Not much. This is more likely. Aria Glitchless is gonna be very soon. Because finally, Four years after it was theory crafted, I double checked by the way, it's more like three and a half. But three and a half years after it was theory crafted, we've got a final sword minute now. So yeah. Collectively we're gonna like iron all that out. And I'll pick up speedruns in the near future. It's not gonna be a massive time save. And the trick is gonna involve a lot of buffers and one frame perfect timing deep into the run. It's gonna be rough, but it'll save like 30 seconds. Oh, it's good. It's been kind of the white whale for Arya Glitchless over the past three and a half years. It's just, Final Sword is so tough because of the way that RNG shifts every frame when Final Guard's on screen. But it's possible now. You just gotta really, really buffer it. Are you telling me this place is also empty? Hmm. It started off so well. What is this seed coming to? I've got all this power and nowhere to use it. Let me see a boss. Let me see speed up. Well, I'm shocked. Are there even any checks over here? I think there's a couple on the left. Okay, left side a bust. Let's go right side. If it's not in Clown World, what's left? Remember those uh, checks I skipped in Dark Academy where I said they're a little bit too slow for me? It's a small gamble, but it's fine. It might not be fine. More empty checks.
Come on, right here. I'll take speed up. Consolation speed up. Oh dear. All right, so- Oh, there it is! Last possible check. Thank God. And another banger. You know, I learned the first two stages of Haunted Castle speedruns. I was gonna make that as a joke. My first classic Vania speedrun, because I do love the music. It's uh, not a great speed game. Instead, I decided to pick up Curse of the Moon 1, and let me tell you, one of the better decisions I've never made in my streaming career might be the best decision I've ever made. Yeah, so the trouble with Haunted Castle, it's just a memorization game, which you might expect. But beyond that, it's a memorization game. I'm talking like memorize the pixel where you jump. God, this room is a mess. Memorize the pixel where you whip, memorize every single candle, and so on. But beyond that, it's a memorization game with no recovery. So if you miss something up, the odds of you being able to continue the run are very, very small. Especially, like, if it's a whip upgrade that you mess up, it's over. Not a speed run for everyone, certainly not a speed run for me. Maybe I'll come back to it at some point. It is cool that it's uh, on the Switch with multiple different versions. But yeah, I bring that up because this song is from Haunted Castle. Uh, I think it's time for Biako. By the way, check out this cat dash. There we go. It's kind of late in the game for this. But yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this shuriken. No one feeling. On the bright side, shuriken. Very quick to level up and even quicker in the rando. Let's actually take a look. 75, that's nothing. One boss will do that.
I think we'll do these checks later. curious about something. If I unequip Shira again, do something like this, will I still get the mastery points? The answer is probably no, but let's find out. Oh, he got me! Jump. Did not get the points, as expected. Oh, fair enough. All right, still gotta find that final portrait, which is um, second to Clown Worm. That'll be go mode. That's all I need. Wouldn't mind a speed up though. Wouldn't complain. I have a good feeling about these checks up here. Here's the thing though, we've seen a lot of uh, tier 2 portraits, right? Haven't seen that many tier 1s. So it's possible I'm gonna have to go through like an elaborate sequence where I do like first pyramid, the village, etc. And only then do I find the second clown world. What an amazement. That's looking pretty clear. There's like one more check here. That's basically done. There are some more here that I, uh, that I overlooked, that I skipped. Um, that's honestly close to done too. My gut tells me to go here first. Oh, also, uh, Yaram, thank you for the Ecclesia Randa request. I was too locked in. I'm sure you've already mentioned the settings. I'm sure they're fine. I could have sworn there was one more check up here. Nope, I'm mistaken. All right, let's go ahead and go Dark Academy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait just a dang minute. I've overlooked something. Cool iframes.
Not here. So it's not in the pyramid. Is it in the academy? Yeah, I know the farm spot you're talking about, Trails. The Minotaur room in here, that's excellent for SP farming. Best in the game. But it's only really useful when you're playing vanilla. Because here, the prices are actually reasonable. I say prices, the, um, the requirements are actually reasonable. And yeah, while you're farming the SP, you got a lot of cash from the Minotaur drops. You can kind of multitask a little bit. Nest of Evil is not in logic. No, you're never gonna find anything in there. Including portraits. So remember when the streamer said, I'm not gonna do these checks, they're very slow. Let's see if the streamer made a good or a bad decision. Streamer made a fine decision. It's not here. Hello, Luigi, I think, for the raid. How did the Aria Rando go? I'm sure it was a fun time. Hmm. We are approaching a spoiler log territory, which happens with Portrait more than any other game. Honestly, it happens more than every other game combined. What's on the table here? What about the very start of the castle? It's a long shot. Next up. Oh, you know what? I orphaned one check here. Exactly one check. Let's go for it. This is the scavenger mode that people wanted to see. But we're not scavenging for items, we're scavenging for portraits. Truly this was a portrait ruin scavenger. It's a perfect seed.
Right over here. Oh, that's it! Yes! Yes! What a scene. I'm having too much fun. Let's move on. If I'm not a little careful versus a Starte, I could very easily die to Temptation. I think I just spam shuriken. Wait, still not mastered? How is that possible? Ten away. Alright, maybe I grind this out real quick. Hey, speed up. Now we're grooving. I definitely had to scavenge for that speed up. That was well hidden. Greatest five now.
you know, in Rondo of Ruin, greatest five includes Christopher Belmont. This is not the greatest five. That is the greatest five. I'm looping around again. Gotta find something. I'm almost stuck a second time. Looking for one portrait. We've got uh, Forest of Doom. And the village. And the one I'm actually looking for, which is the second clown world. Any of those is fine. But yeah, like, it's gotta be over here somewhere. Looking grim. Looking very grim indeed. That's it. There's like one check over here and that's it. We're back to scavenging. Feels absolutely terrible. Any thoughts on where I should scavenge next? I don't know. I'm out of ideas. You know, that's everything here. Okay, bottom of this pyramid, there's only a save and a warp, so don't have to worry about that. I already checked the middle, that's nothing. I checked the right side, that's nothing. It's not here. Okay. I did all this. I didn't kill the boss, but the boss is an axe. So it's not gonna be that one. I... I don't think there's a check over here, but why not? Let's be thorough. Jonathan. Yeah, nothing here. Nothing there, nothing anywhere. Nothing here either. Okay. Next idea. This place is done. Unless there's the check at the top of that room on the right, but I think it's just a save. I'm 99% sure. Castle. No way I missed something here. Let's just get some map tiles though, I could be wrong. We did wait until speed up. This won't take too long.
Yo, Disco, thank you so much for these 16 months. Hope you've been enjoying the streams lately. Myself, I'm having a great time as scavenging. I'm having so much fun, let's fight the slime. Wait a minute, this isn't the slime. That's like, uh, yeah, one section down. I don't think there's anything here, though. You know, I had it right the first time. Just the one check. Let's try motorcycle minigame. Really, really getting desperate here. Nice, it's nothing. the check by the save point. Oh. This seed, like, knew my mentality. It knew I would be inclined to steer clear of Slimer. Got me good. Alright, let's speedrun. I feel like over the past 80 minutes, I've become a better scavenger. It's been a really fun seed. Should be, though, a pretty easy endgame. Barring a gameplay collapse. That is just really good damage from a weapon alone. And Brawner's weak to it, Dracula's weak to it. Go to the wharf. One bonus check. Oh, there, okay. There's the first portrait. Host to Medusa. Rough. No save, Brawner. Feeling confident.
Oh, got him before he got into that portrait. You can't kill Brawner while he's in the portrait. Perfect. here should be worth using. God, honestly, Axe isn't worth using. That's how good the Claymore is. That's phase one. Let's go for the kick manip. I'm gonna go for the kick manip until I mess this up once. And I'm going for the high jump manip. That's not what I meant to do! No! Uh, okay, all the way over here, please. I was just trying to get my strength up. That's fine, that damage will work. I'm out of Manip. This is not Manip, this is fake Manip. Or maybe this is real Manip? Hmm. You don't see this too often. I might die. Pressure is back on again. Now that's real Manip. Too bad, pal. I am now a successful scavenger. 